Look at all this. I think we could probably build a wall. <laughs> uh, go Donald Trump on everything. God, like a few years later, this is going to just date the video so much. So, yeah, I decided to expand our borders a bit. So we got a nice little uh, wooded area. Send up some trees, and we got a bunch of chestnuts. You know what's great about chestnuts? Well, you can actually grind them up into chestnut butter and use that to make, you know, peanut PB&J. Yeah. So I've been take, using, you know, taking advantage of all those cherries we keep getting. Yeah. Speaking of taking advantage of the cherries, I decided to look at the system and I figured out a way to improve it. Cherry juice, which as you can see, oh boy, that is a major improvement. In fact, let's let's get a nice little comparison here. So yeah, 100, 1,600 versus 48,000. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this means I can harness the powers of air, the power of cherry, a lot better. Plus, cherry jelly sandwiches, yum. So, what are we gonna do today? Well, first off, still working on that Coke. Yeah, well, this is got a nice little mess. Also, decided to grab some of the creosote. So this should be enough to start what we need. We're going to start making some treated wood. Um, yeah. So what we're going to want to do... Okay, first off, we're going to need this all to be planks. Uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. I was thinking of, yeah, because you actually just make chests. Uh, can I, can I, um, hmm. Okay. Uh, uh. Looks like there's no use for this. Hmm. It does look pretty cool, though. Is there a way to, like, have it on its side? Hmm. I want to figure out a use for this. Okay. That was an epic fail. Let's try a take two. This time, just separate the wood. Okay. Alright, got some nice treated wood. This stuff looks really good. I am most likely going to be using this in the construction of, you know, Cherry Wood Manor. I mean, this is going to make for good accentuate, you know, ex accentuating the, some sort of fancy word. I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to be fancy, but I'm not. I just realized that used up all the glass. Well, it's a good thing I'm working on smelting all, you know, getting all more bottles. No, no, but this will work for now. This will work. So something we're going to do, I need a new weapon. Yeah, the bone blade, it served me well, but we need some more so first we're going to have a tough tool rod, which actually has more durability, but still does the, yeah, see, when you compare it to regular wood, yeah, it's actually a little better. That's the power treated wood. Next, okay, first of all, turn off that system. We're gonna need some pig iron. That's right. I made some pig iron. To do that, you need blood, molten iron, and emerald. 
Now the emerald, I got two emeralds because I was trading with the clerics. You know, I had enough zombie flesh for two, so that's helpful. Yeah, I think we need eight. So what I'm going, I decided we're gonna make. I am gonna make the cleaver. So I need a plate, the blade, and two tough tool rods. Now for the blade, I decided, I, I thought long and hard about it, but I'm thinking these constant, these constant ingots would work out, which is copper and nickel. Okay. So now I need a face plate. So this will be for actually oh wait no 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 I didn't want the bl no I want the blade made of pig iron. That's right. So let's fill that up. And alright. I'm gonna let that cool off. Now, fill that with. So now we have one more tool rod. So let's see, that requires three. I thought about it, and I think I know what I want. We're gonna put some Electrum in. Now you might be wondering, why Electrum? Electrum isn't, you know, I mean, it's a silver gold alloy, and I mean, that's a pretty decent alloy, if I do say so myself. Ah, but you're gonna love what it can do. Oh, yeah. We're gonna make an awesome blade out of all this stuff. Okay. And now it's time for the cleaver. So first of all, we have the bacon sword. It's baconlicious. The Constantin. All right, we put that in. Yeah, I like that better. So. Baconlicious, some, this will sometimes give me bacon, which is something we can sell. Yeah. Uh, hitting an hitting enemy in a hot or cold environment will chill or burn him. Shocking. Yeah. And we get a bit of beheading, which is nice. All together, you know, a lot more attack. Oh, yeah. Hey baby, you want to touch my my bacon sword? Oh shit, I forgot to name. I actually forgot to rename it. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, can I rename it the bacon sword? Oh, uh, maybe if I had a time. <laughs> Cuz I Okay, let's see. Uh bacon sword. Okay, we're good. We have the bacon sword. Which doesn't actually look as cool now because I put a diamond on it. Uh, but it's worth it because, look, we got even more attack, more durability. Uh, yeah, this is nice. Actually, yeah, it actually swings pretty fast. I expected this. I expected to have a little more trouble with this, but. Hmm. So yeah, I don't need the bone blade anymore. I'll keep the treat of these ones there. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, look at that! That is... That is something. This is actually starting to hurt my eyes a little. Okay, we need to find something to kill. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that sheep was lucky, because I was just about to come and kill it. Okay, we got this cow. Oh! You see that? It's a taser sword! <laughs> I love it! Also, uh, something else I found. I found some tomatoes. Apparently they come out of the shade crop. Good to know. I got the bacon sword. The bacon sword. I gotta feel like that after, after the Baron sees this, he's either gonna cut off all my funding because, you know, I'm making a bacon sword, or he's gonna be so impressed by it, he's gonna demand more. Like he's gonna want an entire array of bacon tools. I might actually do that, even if he doesn't tell me to. I might, I might make a bacon tool, a bacon find of every tool we can make. I might just do that. <laughs> uh, what is wrong with me? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, this is how we can make more of those bricks. Go into the cobble gen. Just let it auto do, and then yeah, it'll make seared bricks. Pretty simple and straightforward. And I'm doing this in order to get gravel, which will become sand. You know, turning to this. But I thought about it, and I figure. We're gonna have to deal with RF, so, I mean, as much as I want to use industrial craft, it probably won't be our main focus. Ender IO is a little more modular, I can easily make these capacitor banks and move power around. It just works a little better. Which I'm sad to say, because I really wanted to go into industrial craft, but the problem is it doesn't use RF. And the electrical power can be really hard to manage. Hmm. Oh, there is something else we need. I need to make. That is really going to help. Okay, we got some gold. Okay, I need one more. Uh, I'll have to use. I, I want to keep those in there so I can make easily make more treated wood. Which, in retrospect, I should have just left this all in here. All right, so what I'm going to make, I need. Two, okay, so I'm gonna need four diamonds. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, it doesn't pick up the ones in there, but I guess that makes sense. Mega torches, or the magnum torch, if you will. Oh, these things. These things are a necessity we want to keep this town safe. Why? Because these things prevent mobs from spawning, you know, from within the radius of around 64 blocks. You know what? Let's see. I'll set up torches there. Because we get a lot of mobs there. Then, in order to keep the townspeople secure, you know, or at least feel secure, let's put it. Can I just... Okay, oh yeah, that looks that actually looks pretty good up there. Man, we get a lot of we get a lot of butterflies. Seriously, it's ridiculous. There's all over the place. It's nuts. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, normally. We get a lot of mobs around here, but 
We're pretty much in the clear. Okay, there's one like way over there. But we don't have them like hounding our walls. That that's the point. And that is very helpful. You guys feel more secure now, don't you? Right? <laughs> that is the best response ever. Uh, that is funny. That is funny. So yeah, I'm gonna be spending some time getting some more of this crescent, uh, making more of the planks, and next episode will probably be me working on the manor. I already have an idea of what I want to do. I'll possibly build a basement, but I'm definitely thinking this is gonna be two stories tall. That's that is something I need. Probably have like a staircase in the middle. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little ambitious today. Well, during this get playthrough. I, I'm feeling a little ambitious. As for what to become of this area, mm, probably a storehouse. You know, I'll keep some of my regular items. I'm definitely going to move the kitchen to the manor. I'll have it to have its own personal kitchen with plenty of storage space. But yeah, we'll have like a bunch of chests in here. Yeah, it'll make a good storehouse. I like the whole walk in, walk out sort of thing. It's it's pretty cool. So, as always, hope you enjoyed this. Uh leave any messages for me and hmm still no new shipment. Oh, I should probably uh light that up. I get to work on that as soon as I stop recording. So, see you next time. Bye!